It's Justin. Well, a Sarasota couple is making dog treats healthy enough for people to taste. SNN's Hallie Pilot explains. Florence and Bob Fellows spend their mornings making healthy dog treats. This oven was hot. <laughs> Before retirement, Florence was a bookkeeper and... I spent 27 years as a uh, technical writer. But for almost six years, they've been making what they call Maggie's morsels. It all started with inspiration from Maggie their four-legged family member. We moved from a house with a yard and our dog Maggie had a yard. Every time they opened the door, Maggie tried to escape. A dog behaviorist blamed Maggie's diet. We were feeding her junk food for treats and we decided to do something healthy for her. Something healthy was making their own dog treats. She couldn't give them anything that had grain and they didn't want anything that had nuts in them. And I said, what the heck are we ever going to make it with? After some experimenting, they figured it out. They start with a gluten and allergy-free base, garbanzo bean flour. We use uh, green beans, green peas, uh, mint and parsley, wild blueberries that come from Nova Scotia. They make about 25 pounds of vegan treats per week with about 175 treats per pound making a lot of dogs happy. Basically, most dogs love them. We haven't heard anyone that doesn't love them. But it's not easy. It's a lot of work. We put a lot of time into it, and it's been a slow go starting from nothing. Their treats are in 12 stores around Florida, and they also take custom orders. The technical writing days, a distant memory. I'm looking back at this and I said, whoa, how did I get this far in this, this business? And their customers, just like dogs, are as loyal as they come. Don't ever give up. Don't stop this because my dog would be lost without these treats. Reporting in Sarasota, Hallie Pilot, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network. And they do look delicious. Well, for more details on the dog treats and where you can buy them, you can visit our website, snntv.com.